Hi, welcome back to my channel, Skills Go. In the previous video, we have seen how to create implemented classes of instances using Dagger and how to create modules for those implemented classes and how to provide them to the Dagger. If you go to Petrol Engine module, we have created a function which will return an engine and we have an argument Petrol Engine and we have just written it. So Dagger will create this parameter and we are just returning it. So we can optimize this code by making this function as abstract. As you see, the implementation we have is only one line, which is just returning the argument. We can make this function as abstract and we can change this to binds. So abstract function should be abstract class. So this will just return whatever the argument the dagger creates. Let's execute this and see the output, whether we get, we get the same output or we get any error. If you don't have much implementation for this function, we can use binds annotation and we can make that function as abstract, which will return the argument directly. So here the build is successful and we got output petrol engine started and driving. So car is dependent on wheels and engine. Wheels is our own class. That's why we have kept an inject annotation into the constructor. Suppose if wheels is not our class, if it is a third party class, we can't modify and we can't keep an inject annotation there. So remove inject annotation. So now dagger doesn't know how to create wheels. Let's execute, we will get an error. Wheels doesn't have an inject annotation. So wheels doesn't know how to create, the dagger doesn't know how to create wheels. And we can't keep an inject annotation also because we are thinking it is, we are assuming wheels is a third party class. So in this case, we need to create a wheels object and we, we should provide to the dagger. And wherever the wheels object required, we, dagger will use that object which we have provided. So let's go to wheels module. So for engine, we have created diesel engine module and petrol engine module. For wheels also, if you want to create instances and provide to dagger, we need to create wheels module as well. Wheels module and this is a class and mark this as module. And let's create a function which will return provides wheels. And it will return wheels. And here we need to return wheels and make this as provides. So here we can't have an argument for wheels because again dagger will try to create that argument and wheels doesn't have an inject annotation. So inside we are creating manually wheels object and we are returning it to the so that dagger will use that object this implementation to create wheels object every time. And we need to provide this module to the component so that dagger knows which module to use. As you can see we have provided previously tutorial petrol engine module to create an engine object. We can provide same wheels module here to create wheels object. Now let's execute and see the output. So now build is successful. That means dagger created a wheels object using wheels module. If you want to know whether the dagger is using this method or not. Let's print it out. Wheels module and let's execute again. We need to see an output wheels module.
So build is successful and we will see the output. So as you can see, we have got the output wheels module. It means Dagger is using this implementation to create a wheels instance. So wheels is a third party class. That's why we are creating manually the wheels object and providing to Dagger. Suppose wheels is dependent on two more objects. Let's go to here. Let's create rims and tires classes where wheels is dependent. Rims is a class and tires and wheels object is dependent on rims and tires and wheels will be created with using constructor passing rims and tires. And we will assign this to rings. So now wheels is dependent on these two classes. Let's go to wheels module. So in this case, in order to create a wheels instance, first we need to get a rings instance and ties instance. So for that also we need to have a separate provides function provides rims return rims instance let's mark this as provides let's have one more function provides types Let's create ties instance and return it and provides. So and now we can pass these rings and ties for creating wheels as arguments. Now we kept these as arguments because now Dagger knows how to create rings and ties because it will use these functions to create it. And it will pass them to this function and here we can pass those to our wheels so this is how we will create a methods with provides so that dagger knows dagger will use this implementation to create types and this implementation to create rings and this implementation to create wheels and we are telling dagger to use these wheels module to create wheels object and let's execute and see we should not get any error so the build is successful and it entering wheels module and we will give the IO input here as well. Rims created tires created and let's execute this. So before creating wheels, we need to get rims and tires. As you can see, rims created, tires created, then wheels module is created. So this is how we will create a third party classes instances with using dagger. We will create a module and we will create manually and provide them to dagger to create those instances to use this implementation every time wherever the instance is needed i hope you like this video please share and subscribe my videos and channel and thank you for watching and follow up for more tutorials in kotlin
using dagger library thank you for watching